Hey guys, welcome to Altcoin Ignition. In this video, we're going to take a second look at the LMT token. I made a video about this during its pre-sale that got a lot of attention, and now we're going to dive a little deeper so that you guys can understand why myself and my community have been accumulating this token in anticipation of huge price appreciation once some of this information I'm about to share with you becomes widely known. So if that promo video got you excited, then stick around. But first, all I ask in return for my content is to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. As always, we're going to start on the CoinGecko page where we can see this has a market cap of just under $18 million and token price of $0.59. Cents. It has been, I think, over $2, okay, but it's had a massive pullback. And in situations where good projects get massive pullbacks due to the entire market pulling back, it presents really, really good buying opportunities. So now we're going to go through and explain why we think this is a, a good buying opportunity. We're still uh, in the green here because... At the time we swapped our LYM tokens for this, it worked out to about 38 cents, so we're still doing pretty good, uh, but we're using this opportunity to accumulate some more. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to have a look at a couple of answers given during a Q&A with Ada Janusi, probably butchering her name there, the uh, Limpo CEO, so we'll just have a look at that now, and then we'll go over uh, what that means. Here's, so here's the first question, will all of the NFTs of the various pools be used to play and earn? Yes, all the NFTs that are minted in various pools will be used uh, in play and earn context in the future. And here's the second question. Can you give us an example of the type of utility we can expect from one of the NFTs? Will there be opportunities to earn passive income such as in F1 Delta time? One of the examples of the NFT um, utility is definitely a play to earn game like uh, Formula One Delta time. In these type of games, our NFT holders are going to be able to play better and to reach better results because they're uh, holding the NFTs. And yes, uh, there's going to be this element of earning uh, while playing a game. The other example of the utility of Limbo NFTs is actually um, staking the NFTs itself. We plan to release an NFT staking platform in the future. So in addition to the model that we know um, very well right now, where we stake our tokens and get NFTs, in this case, we're going to be able to uh, stake Limbo NFTs and get additional benefits from that. And there are going to be more ways to uh, utilize um, the NFTs, but these are the, the two examples that um, are easy uh, to understand and hope makes sense to all of you. So let's have a think about what you just said there, okay, because we're operating in a space right now where NFTs don't really need to have a use case other than being rare and sought after in order to have value. But on top of that, the Limbo NFTs are going to have in-game use, uh, in-game functions. So maybe you hold it and your character gets a special ability that other people don't have. And also, you're going to be able to stake them and earn rewards. So I think that's pretty huge, but that's not the biggest thing that we want to have a look at. So let's get on with the show because I want to have a listen to what the CEO of Animoca Brands has to say. So let's have a look at that now. Um, now, exactly where do we play again? Just as a reminder, Animoca Brands is uh, one of the top blockchain NFT game companies in the world, uh, as uh, according to Blockchain Gamer. But I think one important thing about us, which is different compared to other blockchain game companies, is that we're not just one company, but amongst the top 50, we have ownership uh, in many of the top companies in and of itself. I won't go into too many details here, but I think that gives you a good indication as to the chart and history of many of the investments that Animoca Brands has done. Uh, I haven't listed all of them in here because there are too many in the NFT space, but they number over 35 which probably makes us as a company, the one that has the largest sort of uh, footprint and sort of index of what's happening in the NFT world today. And so we're very glad that of course, Limpo most recently joined the family in our NFT vision as well. Okay, so just pause that there. The reason I included this clip is to remind everyone just how big Animoca brands are. So if you just look at the projects these guys have either started or been early investors of, we've got the Sandbox, there's Wax, there's the official Formula One blockchain game, the Dapper Labs and the Flow blockchain with NBA Top Shots, 
they're involved with crypto kitties they have licensing for major league baseball and there are others that aren't listed here like marvel transformers and even game of thrones and if you look up there in the top right you'll see the partnership with binance so let's have a listen to what he has to say about that and as some of the audience may or may not know uh, we actually struck a strategic partnership with binance no oh. and in that uh, so that was already announced right and um and and um and as part of this uh, announced uh, sort of strategic partnership was that we would basically help bring you know sort of you know gaming and non-fungible token assets onto Binance smart chain right and uh and so limpo is going to be our first project that does that but basically through the lmg token oh! So you heard what he had to say there. Limbo has an official strategic partnership with Binance to bring NFTs to the NFT platform through the LMT token. That is absolutely huge. And when this becomes widely known and the market starts to pick back up, this token is going to turn into an absolute beast. I'm over here on the NFT platform and you can see firstly that I put my money where my mouth is. I have over 20,000 of these tokens staked. And we can see that they have released their biggest NFT to date. Rose Nama Yunus from the UFC, and I can only imagine that there's plenty more big names to come. And these bulls are just the start. They obviously, have games to come with use cases for all of the NFTs and NFT staking. So now let's have a look at something else. NFT player Animoca hits unicorn status with $89 million capital raise. So with this recent funding round, they've reached a valuation of $1 billion and become a unicorn. So let's quickly have a look at who led the most recent funding and see what we can find. The investment round was led by Kingsway Capital and included RIT Capital Partners, formerly Rothschild Investment Trust. Now, the Rothschilds obviously one of the richest banking families in the world and also investors in the Kraken Exchange, I believe. Now, you can go through the rest of the investors there. They're all pretty big. I just wanted to highlight that one. So to summarize, we have a digital collectible platform able to make use of extensive licensing agreements with household brands and celebrities, one of the most successful blockchain companies behind them huge financial backers and a strategic partnership to bring NFTs to Binance's new NFT platform. Does this have 100x potential? Tell me what you think in the comments guys, but that's the video I have for you today and I'll see you in the next one.